What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Stoneblock. Oh, yeah, guys. So last episode, we started making some smart chickens, and I've been breeding them and making a whole lot more smart chickens. <laughs> yeah, these guys make eggs very, very quickly. So if you get, a like, one or two of them, you'll start getting a bunch. Uh, but this mod pack has the roost mod in it, which I'm pretty sure... There's our last one. I'm pretty sure you can take these chickens, put them into item form, and then put them into a roost... And then, like, everything's self-contained, and you can extract out of it. There's a couple of different uh, mods similar to that in this mod pack, but um, the roost one, yeah, you can turn the chickens into, like, these items, and you can do that with a chicken catcher. So we need an egg, a stick, and a feather. Let's go do that real quick. Do I? I don't have a feather on me, but I do. Yeah, we need to go get some stuff over here. Uh, we got plenty of eggs, though, <laughs> especially since they are stacking up to 64 in this mod pack. Uh, yeah, so let's grab, yeah, stick, we have an egg, feather, mm, top chest, yeah, right there, all right, so we can do that, so chicken catcher, so we'll do all of this, so, uh, we have many, many chickens over here, and I'm pretty sure it does not matter if they are, uh, still baby chickens, or if they're fully grown, but you can do that and turn them into an item, so it's a smart chicken, 10, 10, 10, yeah, all these guys are now 10, 10, 10s, very good. Okay, let's go ahead and turn all these chickens into items. We don't really need all these chickens wandering around, pooping out eggs all over the all over the place. I was going to say all over the floor, but whatever. Uh, so this one, that one, and our two original 10-10-10s that made all of our eggs. Okay, so now all of our smart chickens are right here. Uh, let's make ourselves a roost. So in order to do that, we need three hay bales and then some planks. I don't got wood on me. So once again, we will go back over here. Uh, so yeah, pretty much what you can do with the roost is really compact your chicken farms if you're trying to produce certain items. Let's see. It was five planks and three hay bales, I think. Let's make some hay bales real quick. You know what? I should just turn all this wheat into hay bales. That'll like... Can I do this? Just drop it all in here like so. And then shift click this button. There you go. All right. So hay bales like so, and then some planks like so, and there's a roost. Okay. So now that we have the roost, we can look at putting the chickens into it. Uh, let's try putting it how about right here for now. Uh, so we'll put the smart chickens in here. So the way that works, you see this progress bar, how fast that's going? Yeah, that's really, really awesome. So the way that works, if you put one in there, the progress bar goes kind of slow. If you put in a few in there, it goes faster. And I think it goes up to 16, and that's the fastest production. So yeah, uh, we'll be having all the eggs if we needed this many eggs. And I really don't think we do, but I kind of just went a little overboard breeding <laughs> the smart chickens. Um, but yeah, it looks like the chicken right there shows the image of what it is, shows the progress on the tooltip, which is also cool, and the fact that it's a 10, 10, 10. I like it. Uh, so what I'd like to do, though, is to move on from uh, the smart chickens and start looking at maybe some chickens that'll be useful. So we go back to the chicken mod. Uh, we can see there's a whole lot of different ones here. So I guess really what we need to do... What's a boop beep chicken? What the heck? <laughs> Uh, what does this produce? It produces grass? That's interesting. Um, so we need to figure out, like, which chicken it is that we need for us to get. And then backtrack through it and figure out what it is that it takes to make it. Yeah, so we got lots of different chickens to choose from here. So, for instance, if we wanted to make gold... Uh, we need yellow dye chicken and an iron chicken. I kind of feel like all of the, all of the um, ink, well, not ink, the uh, dye chickens are going to be what we're going to need to start off this mod. So it might make sense to go ahead and start making all of these dye chickens and 10, 10, 10 ing them. Uh, that might be something that we work on right away. I think we can get most of these dyes, although I'm not entirely sure, but let's go ahead and make a yellow dye chicken see we have this stuff here actually you know what let's do two of them okay so we can go into our crafting grid we do this and then we do one of these and some of that okay so there is two of 
these yellow. It says throw it to have a chance to spawn the chicken, or we can just put it into these things and guarantee that we will get them. Yeah, so I think that's what we're gonna do. And if I sit here, they go a little bit faster, right? I think you can sit between the blocks and it hits both of them, but I'm not entirely sure if that's the case or not. Anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and let these things grow up. We'll start the process of getting these to be 10, 10, 10. Then we'll never have to worry about yellow dye again. I'm pretty sure that's what these things do. Or maybe they don't. Uh, yellow chicken, yellow and here. So there's also a way to breed them doing this. I'm not entirely sure how this works, if it's better to do it this way or to do it in the world like I did the smart chickens. Um, but yeah, look, definitely looks like that we get the dandelion yellow from these guys. So that might be worth getting all the different dyes like that as well. Hm. Anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and let this go for a little while and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so I started making progress here, making the different dye chickens, and now we're in the process of finishing that up, really. Uh, we don't have a way to get green dye, like, from cactus. At least I don't think so. Actually, you know what? I might be incorrect. There might be a way for us to get, like, cactus seeds. Uh, but what I decided to do, since we already had some Batania mystical flowers, is uh, take the flower, put it into the crafting grid, right? So you get the petals. Yeah, uh, so I took one of these green flowers I put it into petals and then I just right clicked them on the ground. You can use shears to uh, Collect the tall mystical green flower and when you put those in your crafting grid you get four of them So you can get a lot of dye really quickly this way. So now we went from two to eight So there's that then all you gotta do is just bone me all these guys and then of course use your shears and vein mine if you choose to make it a little bit faster and now we have a lot more of these petals. All right, so really all we needed was just, uh, I think 16, no, I think we needed 32 of them, to be honest, because we are going to need to make light green, or I guess lime green. Uh, so we need a mortar and pestle, and I don't remember if we have made one of those. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. All right, so let's do mortar and pestle. We want the botanio one, so that's a bowl, a plank, and a stick pretty easy we have bowls we have planks and we got all the sticks over here all right so we got everything so now we can do whoops no i gotta click this 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 all right so there is our mortar our pestle and mortar i suppose um so we can take this now i can't remember can i just do this with bone meal okay so i can do it that way um that's going to be too many, isn't it? We want 16 of these. Okay. So I guess I need to do eight more of these petals. All right. So now we have green and we have lime. So now we can make, well, I guess we can do it right here. We can make the other bit of these chickens that we're trying to do. So there's some lime ones and there's some green ones. Cool. Yeah. So we're getting all these different chickens, um, all the different colors, because it seems like all the resource chickens that we're going to want do require these as uh, part of the breeding process. So I was kind of looking at like starter resources like iron. I think we we're looking at gold a little bit. Iron chicken a little bit ago, I'm sorry. Uh, and the iron chicken does require us to have flint and bone white. So I did a bone white. I have not 10, 10, 10 them. I'm just trying to get all the different colors right now. Uh, and yeah, and we can just do flint around an egg to get the flint chicken. We take that and then we breed it with the, um, well, we can do sand and that will give us gunpowder, aluminum, iron. Yeah. So the bone white plus that gives us the iron chickens. Those are the ones that we're going to want all those resources. So we don't have to deal with sieving anymore. We don't have to deal with hammering things out. Like, well, we can do it either way, but honestly, I feel like the chickens are just going to be better because they just make the resources straight up. We don't have to worry about uh, creating cobblestone and then hammering it and then sifting it and then smelting it. Like we just get the resources and I think it just makes things a lot simpler, right? Uh, so anyway, my next task is just to continue on with this, get all the different ones and hopefully start breeding them uh, into the 10, 10, 10 stage. I don't know if I'm going to do all of those today. Uh, but what I would like to do is try and get iron going and potentially, well, we'll see. I was going to say potentially gold, but 
We don't really have a large need for gold at the moment, but I would like to try and get all of the different chickens going. Whoops. Um, yeah, so we put them into these three by one pens. I was doing three by threes originally, but then I realized that we're going to need a lot more space for all the different chickens that we're going to do. Uh, we do have yellow, orange, red, pink, and bone white right now. And then we got blue, light blue, lime green, and green cooking right now in the incubators. And we'll go ahead and try and do the rest of them like magenta and cyan and so on and so forth. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do some more breeding here and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so I've been at this for a while now. I decided that we were going to take all of our dye chickens and put them into item form. We don't really need them in the world until we're doing something with them. So all of our different dye chickens are over here now. Um, the flint chickens we had to make slightly differently. I, I guess I should just search for flint. All right, so the flint chicken was made by taking a regular egg and wrapping flint around it, and you get this flint chicken egg, which is actually like a spawn egg. I was thinking that this we'd have to put over on the incubators, but no, only the eggs from hatchery you put over here. So the flint chicken, you can just right-click on the ground, I think, and then it just spawns a chicken ready to go. You can breed it immediately. I'm pretty sure is how that worked. Um, our original flint chickens are these right here. <laughs> I just decided to save them for some reason. But anyway, I've been breeding these guys up to 10-10-10s. Uh, ten, ten, uh, yeah, it's taken quite some time. You can see all the stuff that's all over the ground from these chickens. They're just going to be producing so many items. And they would be way better if we had them in a roost, if that's what the material is that we want from them eventually. But uh, with a bone white and a flint chicken, we should be able to breed them together and get a chance at getting ourselves an iron chicken. And that's what I wanted to do. Um... I don't think I mentioned this before. Animal net is from the hatchery mod. You can pick up entities like animals, right? And then move them around. It does not affect their cooldown, like um, how often they can breed, I think is what it is. So here's another thing that you should probably know. When you put chickens into this item form here, you can right click them on the ground and spawn back in the chicken, but that breeding cooldown, that's gonna hurt a lot uh if you're trying to like breed them anyway so just something to be aware of it's probably best to 10 10 10 them first if you're going to be mass producing your chickens or i guess mass producing the resources from them oh, that's the flint that's the one i wanted in there uh yeah so 10 10 10 them first before putting them into item form at least that's what it seems like is the best way to go about it so now we have a 10 10 10 bone white and a flint chicken ready to go. Now what's good about having them 10 10 10 when you breed them, if you don't get the chicken that you want, their breeding cooldown timer is really low because they are already 10 10 10. So you can see right there, this is just a 30 second wait and we can try again if that is not the iron chicken egg that we're looking for and it's not, that's a flint egg. But it is 10 10 10 as well. So I guess if you want more flint chickens, <laughs> trying to breed will get you that way. Uh, so we just need to wait again. So we just have 10 more seconds to wait and then we can try mating these guys once again. I think we can also meet these. Did those work through there? Did that? Well, I got something. Uh, oop, hey, hey, get back in your pen. We got ourselves a bone white chicken egg. So no, both of those breedings did fail. But again, it's only 30 seconds between retries. So we'll do this again. Uh, another thing I'm also curious about is it faster to do it this way or is it faster to use the hatchery chicken breeder thing is it hatchery mm, no it was maybe it was hatchery i can't remember there's like some well I, how many chicken mods do we have in here um this no it's roost roost we have chickens we have roost and we have hatchery we have three chicken mods working together I'm kind of curious to see this chicken breeder, if you can use this to like uh, make them 10, 10, 10s as well. That's something we'll have to check out uh, sometime in the future. It doesn't look too terribly expensive. Uh, but anyway, let's do these guys again and you two, maybe. So we got an egg there, we got an egg here. All right. What do we get? Looks like, oh no, we did get an iron chicken egg and it is a one, one, one. Okay, that was something I was curious about. Um, so 10, 10, 10 them does not give you like one that has five, five, five or a 10, 10, 10 offspring. Um, 
So it might not be worth breeding them like that, or I guess 10 10 10 them to breed them for the next type. I don't know how that works. Again, um, maybe doing it in the the chicken breeder might be faster. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if this changes speeds based on if they're 10 10 10 versus 1 1 1 breeding them, like what the cooldown is. Maybe we should make this thing and just find out since I am kind of curious about it. Uh, it might make things a lot better. I honestly don't know. So it was five planks, three uh, hay bales, and then a seed, I believe. So let's try this guy. I know it does take quite a lot of time to 10, 10, 10 these chickens the way I was just doing it. In fact, I've been kind of AFK. Well, I guess between clips is what I should say for a little over two hours, I think. Um, so here's a chicken breeder. So that plus this... I'm not actually sure. Why is there three slots here? If we take a look at this, it shows two slots. I'm not exactly sure. I assume these are the two chickens that we want to breed. Um, so we will go ahead and put these guys into item form because I'm kind of curious to see how this works. Since they are 10, 10, 10 already, I think their breeding cooldown is only going to be uh, 30 seconds. Let's try that. No, it does go up to seven minutes. Okay, so they do have a longer, or I guess it's shorter, but still a long breeding time. So I put that chicken here and this chicken here. Do we need seeds? Is that the thing? I don't know. Well, that seems like that's going quite slow. Maybe it goes faster if you have more of the same type of chicken in there. I honestly don't know. But anyway, I'm kind of curious to see if this will maybe guarantee. Do we keep these chickens? I honestly... I have no idea how this works. Uh, so while that's going, we can go ahead and breed two more of these chickens together. Maybe get ourselves another iron. That doesn't look like an iron one to me. Nope, it's another flint. Okay, but we really don't need all these flint eggs. Mm. We could stack them up, I suppose, and get flint that way. Same as we're getting our eggs from our smart chickens. I was going to throw these away, but since they're all 10, 10, 10s, it might be better to save them. Might be better to save them. Uh, so this is nearing completion here. Let's see what we get when this thing goes. Yeah, I honestly don't know. This will be quite interesting. So we got ourselves a bone white chicken, 10, 10, 10. Okay, okay. This seems like this might be better uh, if it can, in fact, guarantee that we get ourselves an iron chicken. Because if that's the case, that will prevent us from having to do this and then grow them up because that should be an adult chicken already, right? So if we take this guy and do that, yeah, it's adult. We just have to wait the breeding cooldown. Hmm, not entirely sure uh, what the best way to go about this is. Now, can I stack this one here? You can do that. Does that make this timer go faster? I don't know. So we got a flint chicken. Doesn't seem like that's going much faster, but then again, if they stack up to 16 in there, two of them really wouldn't show much difference, would it? Okay, well, I tell you what, we'll play around with this a little bit longer. Hopefully, I'll get some iron chickens going, and I will report back if we get any better findings than what we've already seen. Okay, guys, so uh, we finally got ourselves an iron chicken to be bred here. That didn't take too long at all doing this route of breeding them. But, yeah, you can see right here how fast that timer is going. Um, let's add the bone white chicken here. So if I remove some of these chickens, like so... You can see that percentage has slowed way down. So yes, having more chickens stacked on top of each other speeds this up. So we're at 50%. And now look at that timer. That, or I guess the countdown percentage, whatever. That's going so much faster. So every single breed, yeah, we are making some serious progress here. That's really, really cool. Um, so I did see here that we have an iron chicken. It stopped. Why did that stop? Oh, out of seeds? Yeah, so we do have an iron chicken, uh, two of them now. So we can place them down, and they are just one one ones. Mm hmm But we have that breeding cooldown now, which kind of sucks. Yeah, so we're going to have to wait 10 minutes in order to start breeding these things. Uh, otherwise, we'll have to wait for our uh, chicken from the egg to be... Whoops, <laughs> I guess we have to wait longer. We'll have to wait for the chicken egg in the egg nest Oh, the hatching result stays. 
Does that work per egg or is that per nest? I wonder if I swap that out for another egg. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so that's kind of cool. Yes, these chicken breeders are really, really interesting. They definitely make it go a lot faster. So I assume we could breed chickens, get the iron chicken and breed it with something else and uh, just go this way instead of like trying to 10, 10, 10 them. Some interesting things to play around with. Anyway, I'm going to continue uh, messing around with this and we'll be back, guys. All right, guys. So letting this go for a little bit longer, we have the flint chickens. We have 16 of them and 16 bone white chickens. And yes, that is the maximum amount that stacks there. I can't place any more on top of it. So 16 is the highest amount. Uh, it does require two seeds for them to breed. And that is how fast it goes when you get the full stacks of everything in there. Pretty cool. Uh, I am kind of curious though, these iron chickens, we ended up with eight of them trying to get both of these stacks full. I'm kind of curious with the iron chickens, if we look at the uses, um, like does it breed slower than a 10, 10, 10 one doing this? I'm not entirely sure. So gold chicken, we just take a yellow one plus the iron chicken, we get gold. That seems like the next logical step. So we'll take our bone white and our flint chickens out of there. Uh, we'll put our iron chickens in there, and then we should have two yellow chickens here. Uh, so does it go significantly slower like that? Oh, yeah, that does go kind of slow, doesn't it? Okay. Um, probably would be able to speed this up a bit using the acceleration wand <laughs> that we were trying to set up last time. If we can figure out a way to charge it. Uh, I still got to go through and look if there is like a easy way for us to make a charger to charge that device. There probably is probably like the energetic confuser from thermal expansion or something along those lines. I still have not looked yet. Uh, so we're going to try and breed these chickens, see if we can get some gold ones. Uh, while we wait for that to happen, I'm going to go ahead and take another break and see if we can come up with some kind of way to charge up our, uh, our acceleration wand and we'll be back guys. All right guys. So I was just looking at the recipe here and the energetic infuser, the basic one is fairly simple. It does require some gears, which does look scary at first, but you can see here that we, there is just a crafting recipe for them. So we can do that quite simple. So we need to get ourselves a lead gear. We need to get ourselves two copper gears. Very easy. We need one tin gear. Uh, we need a redstone reception coil and then a redstone transmission coil. Is that what it's called? Yeah, two of those. Okay. And then we are going to need to get ourselves, I think it's this for the machine frame with the tin gear. All right. So that should be pretty much everything for this guy. And there's an energetic infuser. Basic. Yeah, we had just barely enough copper. Well, actually... I guess we have these blocks. We had eight ingots there, <laughs> one left over. Uh, so energy confuser, this should be able to be sat next to this guy, which should power it. Yeah, we are now getting power in there. Very good. So with that charging up, we should be able to charge up our acceleration wand. Yeah, uh, should have probably done that last time, but we got it sorted now. I was kind of confused. Uh, when I made <laughs> the capacitor bank that didn't have the slot inside of it like it's always had in the past where you could just charge items up. But now that we got that under control, this should be just fine. Okay, so what we need to do is just place the uh, acceleration wand right there and it will charge up very slowly, apparently. This does 50 RF per tick to charge. Okay, okay, it's set to mode fast. Um, we should probably look on the not enough ones. Where am I going? I want to go to options, controls, category, not enough wand. So wand modifier, that's the equals key. Okay, so that's what we need to press in order to change it. It should have many different modes here. So if we go here and we hold it and we do equals. So we got faster, fastest. So those are the options we have. So I'm kind of curious to see, I must have hit a button that increased the mini map. Oh, I guess equals is that as well. Okay. Uh, so I am curious to see how much faster this is going to go over here. Oh, look at that. looks like we got a gold chicken off one breed. Okay. I did go around all the chickens that we had uh, laying around or I guess clucking around. I used the chicken wand, which broke on the last one to pick them all up and put the iron ones in here. Uh, so 
this thing, as we can see, that's taking a lot of time. Now, if we shift right click with the cheaty wand, oh, you can see the progress percent on the tooltip. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so we just got two gold chickens from doing that. How much power did that use? So we have 11,100. So if we do this, oh, so not even 10% uses 11,000 RF on the fastest mode. Well, no, I guess it didn't use that much, but it says we can't do it anymore. Okay, maybe we need to switch to fast mode. And now we're out of power again. Okay, so if, if we get more power and we get a way to charge this thing, we'll be able to do some good stuff. Yeah, all right, so I like this. Now, one thing also I noticed uh, on the tooltip there, it says Iron Chicken 111, Yellow Chicken 111. But if you hover over them, they don't say anything like that. These items, it just says uh, this one's bread from, and that one's just the roost or whatever. The ones that are 10, 10, 10, or I guess, I guess 2, 2, 2 or higher, um, or I have one stat increase at least, we'll say that on the tooltip. So something to keep note of, like all these other ones don't say 111 on them. So that's the way to tell them apart. So we have two gold chickens now. It's probably gonna be a good idea for us to place them over here and breed them up. We gotta let them do their breeding cooldown, which sometimes is excessively high. I almost wonder. So the first one we placed down had a seven minute cooldown. That second one we placed down had like a 30 minute cooldown. If we pick that one back up, turn it into an item and set it back down, can we get a lower cooldown on it? That's probably a thing that we can do. So let's grab a feather, a stick, and then we need an egg, I believe, in order to make one more of those chicken sticks or whatever they're called, I can't remember. Can I grab an egg, can I scroll? I cannot scroll an egg out of there. Okay, well, we're taking a full stack. Let's do that. So that's under the roost, the roost mod. It's called a chicken catcher. All right, so O, oh, this one, that, this, okay. So again, it has a 30 minute cooldown for breeding, 27 minute, whatever. So we pick it back up, we place it back down, 24 minute. I bet we can do this over and over, 29 minute to try and get a, a lower cooldown, maybe 16 minutes, there we go. We just knocked like 10 minutes off it, right? So that's one way to speed it up. This guy's got a 15 minute, that guy's got a 16 minute. We can probably get it lower than that, but it's gonna be hit or miss. And we'll be using the uh, chicken catchers uh, HP a lot. And I guess the um, the durability in order to do that. But, you know, we just saved ourselves 10 minutes one way or the other. Anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap the episode up here for today. Um, I spent a lot of time breeding these chickens up to the 10-10-10, expecting us to get 10-10-10 or at least 5-5-5 offspring. Doesn't work that way. But if we ever want bone meal, or I guess bones, or flint, man, we have all of it. So that's going to be really awesome. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.